Okay, hi, so today we're going to talk about different surfaces and how good they are at emitting radiation. Now, for example, if you have these two cans here, we've got this awfully coloured in can, which is a matte, and matte just means like a dull colour, and you can see it's dark, it's almost black, the background's black, so you wouldn't see the can otherwise, but it's a dark can, so it's matte and dark, and this one over here is shiny, and white or silver. Okay, so there you go. There's a little sparkle which tells you this is shiny. And if we put hot water into both of these cans and then waited for them to cool down, this can on the left would cool down quicker. Cools quicker. And that is because dark matte surfaces, so dark matte surfaces, equals best at emitting 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 means giving out radiation and so a shiny bright surface so a white or a silver will emit less radiation and if it's emitting less radiation it means that less of the heat is being lost which means that this one will cool down slower. Now on the flip side to this, the matte surfaces are also good at absorbing heat. So these surfaces are also best at absorbing radiation. So if you had heat coming from elsewhere, a matte dark surface would heat up quicker and that is really why you see loads of houses which are white, they're painted white on the surface, but you don't really see many which are painted black. That's because if it was really hot, then you would heat the house up really quickly and it would become quite uncomfortable. Also, if you were using your central heating system, because it wasn't very hot, the black surface would also emit radiation the best. So you'd be heating up the house, but your house wouldn't retain the heat because the black surface would cause it to be emitted. So white is much better because if there's load of radiation coming in, the house will stop itself from heating up too much. And also, if it's too cold outside and you put the heating on, the white surface will allow your heating to be most effective and it will keep it in the longest. And that is because the white or the light, sorry, shiny surfaces are best not at emitting or absorbing, they are best at reflecting. Reflecting radiation. Okay. And so let's have a look at an experiment which can be done very easily and very cheaply in order to test this. Okay, so this is a quite badly drawn diagram of the apparatus, but what we have here is a shiny surface, okay, it might be made of metal, and this will have on it a coin, so here we go, let's just say a copper coin, and we stick it uh, using wax, so I've got coin stuck with wax. So that allows uh, the coin to be able to stick to the surface. Okay, that's on the back of this surface. It's not facing this here, which is the fire or the heater. So this is on the back, not facing it or facing away. And we'll have the same thing. I'm gonna draw it in a dotted line to show that it's on the other side of this surface, but you've got a coin on the back of this surface as well. So you've got a coin there on the back and a coin over here on the back as well. This surface is matte, and it might be black, or it might just be dark. And this here is a heater. If you're going to carry out this experiment, then please don't use an open fire. Use some sort of safe heater. Uh, this was just for simplicity. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put these surfaces in the way of the heater at exactly the same time. So we'll probably turn the heater on after we've already set up this apparatus. And then we wait and see which coin falls off first. And what will that tell us? Well, if the coin falls off first, it means that the wax, which is written here, that was badly written, so I'm gonna 
cover it over there. The wax uh, will have melted. So when the wax melts, the coin will fall off. The only way the wax is going to melt is because heat has caused it to melt. And so the surface, which can absorb the most heat, is going to cause the wax to melt first. What we find is the matte black surface will cause the coin to fall off first. And that is because, as we've said, matte surfaces and dark surfaces are the best absorbers of heat. This shiny surface over here is going to be reflecting heat um, back from where it came from, which means that it's not going to heat up as much or as quickly as the matte black surface. And that means that this coin is going to take longer to fall off. Okay, so there are two simple experiments. We've got uh, putting hot water into a can here, and we've got heating two surfaces with coins. Sorry, that's a lorry in the background. Sorry about that. And that means that we now can test for the best um, surface in order to absorb heat and in order to emit heat. In both cases, it's the matte black surface, and that's because the white surface is a good reflector. Okay, so I think we're going to stop there. If you have any questions, please do comment in the box below or send me an email using the link, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.